I've been in the field of data analytics for more than 15 years. I've thought about this a lot and also spoken to some of my industry colleagues about it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, demand for data skills in the market, yet people uh, struggle to secure a job in this field. So there are several reasons to it. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the reasons uh, and also we're going to talk about some of the tips and tricks job seekers can apply to secure a job in the field of data analytics. Top three reasons why data analysts struggle to find work. Number one is uh, a lack of specialized skills. Number two is uh, high demand in the market. Number three is lack of industry knowledge. So what do I mean by lack of specialist skills? With the growing demand for data analysts in the market, many employers look for uh, more specialist skills other than the basic data analysis skills. So specialist skills can be more like understanding the IT uh, uh, system, backend data structure, or data dictionary, like, you know, understanding the fields and the different tables that are within that particular IT system would be helpful. And also they're looking for uh, data storytelling and presentation skills. Also with a little bit advanced analytics, okay, they're looking for uh, machine learning and also some kind of automation is applied in most of the data analytics engagement. So they would expect you to know some kind of programming language which you can utilize uh, to automate some of the data analytics uh, jobs. So number two is uh, high demand in the market. You know, there are so many people in the market applying for this kind of data analytics job. So the employer gets a lot of resumes and it is very difficult for the uh, job seekers to stand out. So that is the second part. Okay, so and number three is lack of industry knowledge. So today uh, in this... Uh, a data analytics job world, most of the employees are looking for some kind of industry knowledge uh, so that it is easy for the data analyst okay, to go ahead and apply the data analytics technique okay, to get some good business insights and decisions uh, that would help the business. So this industry knowledge okay, becomes kind of uh, mandatory and and that's where the entry-level data analysts struggle. So in addition, okay, they're also looking for some kind of skills okay, in the area of project management. So you don't have to be a project manager, uh, but probably okay, you should have used okay, some kind of uh, project management methodologies like Agile or Waterfall. So Agile is more of like, you know, uh, a regular sprints. You have a list of uh, backlog tasks where you will chunk it up into sprints of two weeks. Waterfall is more of a sequential kind of project management. So if you've worked in any of the projects okay, using this methodology, okay, that particular experience very helpful for you. Uh, like you know, when you apply for a data analyst job. Uh, we looked at okay, what are the challenges okay, data analysts okay, face uh, to get a job in this uh, market. But now let's look at okay, what are the tips and tricks okay, uh, the job seekers can apply uh, to get over these uh, challenges. So number one is okay, acquiring the specialized skills. Okay, probably uh, you can uh, try and learn a particular system, okay, what kind of data it captures, okay, what kind of table it has. Okay. There are a lot of resources available in Google. Okay. There are a lot of boot camps, a lot of training available. Probably get into one of those who okay, can understand that and see okay, how it is applied for a particular domain. So if you understand uh, one domain and you niche yourself into that and you understand the data structures okay, within a system, that, bring, that becomes a very strong case for you to uh, get that particular job okay, in that particular domain, okay, what they're going to advertise. And having said that, okay, and also you can enhance your knowledge uh, using some programming language like Python, okay, how it is used to automate some of the data analytics jobs. Okay, There are a lot of resources available in YouTube and also in the Google. And also if you're looking for very structured learning, you can get into any of the boot camps okay, where they teach how they use Python for data analysis and also build some kind of automation okay, within the data analyst kind of project. Number three, okay, and also you can read about okay, uh, the product management methodologies okay, like uh, Agile. Okay, so there are a lot of resources again okay, available. You can understand okay, how it is done. Okay, Probably you can try out some of your project okay, using that methodology. That would help you to answer the questions okay, when you are asked okay, in the interview. So just to recap, okay, so number one is uh, about the system and the backend data structures, how it is applied for a domain. Number two is uh, uh, understanding some kind of automation using a programming language. Number three is okay, project, math and project management methodology, how you've applied it. Okay? So having said that, and also uh, you can tailor your resume, uh, like, you know, uh, towards the job you're going to apply for. 
So let's say the job description says that you're going to apply for a financial analyst position. Look for the list of skills, okay, what they're asking for, technical and also both functional and tailor your resume okay, towards that and do your homework by understanding those skills, okay, what is required, okay, just prepare yourself for that. So that would help you uh, to crack the interview. And uh, number three is always prepare for the interview, like, you know, so it's always what they ask in the job description is what they are looking for. Make sure like, you know, you are uh, clear with that. Okay. So what is the job expectation and make sure the answer you give uh, is more like, you know, you have the relevant skills to do that job and your resume should be in line okay, to the job description. And also you should know your resume. Okay. So you, you should know what you have given there, what kind of projects you have worked in. That would help you okay, to explain uh, any uh, questions that is put through okay, during the interview. So these are some of the basic preparations, okay, but also what you can do is okay, you can get some uh, specialized uh, uh, like, you know, uh, assistance okay, from uh, uh, boot camps or like, you know, there are so many different uh, training available okay, in the market. Spend a bit of money okay, to get into that. Uh, think of it more like an investment uh, where you can like, you know, get it get that return of investment okay, when you get a job and get that salary back. Yeah. So these stuff, okay, if you follow, like, you know, uh, you'll be very sure that, uh, uh, like, you know, you would be able to crack that interview and, uh, like, you know, get into the job, okay, what you wanted. And also you can grow in this uh, role of uh, data, probably, like, you know, 10 years or 15 years down the line, okay, you can become a, a leadership member within the data team within an organization. So I hope this video would have been helpful for you. Just go ahead and just try doing these okay, that would help you to get you that job okay, in the field of data. Uh, I mean, I have interviewed quite a lot of people. Okay, this is what I look for when I interview them. Okay, so I look for what is the job they are applying for, okay, what is the opening. Okay, I just look for skills okay, within the resume, whether they have that skills or not to do the job. That's the first thing I look for. Number two, what other skills do they have? And number three is uh, general personality. Okay, so how do they approach things? Like, you know, some kind of competency, uh, kind of uh, skills, more of uh, how they have led the team, how they have solved a problem. Um, I mean, what I'm, what generally people look for is, okay, whether they can work together in the team, whether they are proactive, whether they can take lead uh, to do uh, some kind of work or like, you know, take the ownership. So that's what people generally look for. Like, you know, if you possess all the skill, I'm 100% sure you would get the job in the market. Try this out, okay? And if you have any comments, okay, if you're looking for any resource, put it in the comment uh, section. I will uh, try and add some of the data analytic resources I know, which which would help you to revise and help you get the job in the market. Yeah. yeah thanks a lot for listening, guys. Okay, so I will see you with another video very soon. Yeah. Take care. Bye.